Today I'm gonna show you how to install Sky Factory 4 mod pack for Minecraft and how to solve some issues you might encounter while installing this mod pack. For step number one, we're going to click the first link in the description of this video, which will bring you to the website called downloadcursewords.com. In here, we're going to download Curseforge. Curseforge is pretty much a launcher that is going to allow us to install mod packs for Minecraft, mod packs like Sky Factory, RO Craft, Pixelmon, and many others. Let's go ahead and click Windows, which is my operating system. The download should start immediately. You're gonna see it in the bottom left. Go ahead and click on it. Windows is going to prompt you with a sign saying if you want to proceed, go ahead and allow it give it permission and then the installer is going to launch we could go ahead and close the website now and click next just go ahead and accept the terms and conditions click next and let it install it should take around a minute curseforce is amazing i have been using it for the longest time it makes the process of installing mod packs so easy it used to be so long to install a mod pack but now with curseforce it's so easy as you can see right here it has fully installed go ahead and close the website that it automatically opens you don't have to click anything else and you could go ahead and launch it and if you don't launch it through there you could launch it through the desktop that's why we created a desktop shortcut just give it some time since it is the first time that you are launching it it might take longer than usual as soon as it launches it's going to give you like a little intro you don't have to watch the intro i mean you're more than welcome to go ahead but in my case i'm going to skip it to get it straight to the point right now here you're going to select the game that you're installing the mod packs for obviously it's minecraft so go ahead and click minecraft for you this might show completely empty because you haven't installed curseforge before this screen is going to be completely completely empty do not worry we're going to find the mod pack you want right away you can go ahead and click browse mod pack and if you scroll down for a couple seconds you might find a sky factory like look right here as you can see we have a sky factory 4 in case you don't find a sky factory while scrolling down you could go ahead and type a sky factory all together like this and then add the number four because we're looking for number four give it some time to load sometimes it takes long sometimes it doesn't it all depends on your internet and as you can see a sky factory is the first one to come up with 7.4 million downloads it's completely safe go ahead and click install now give it some time again it's going to take a little bit a sky factory is a mod pack that has a lot of mods in it so we gotta give it some time and wait the tutorial is not over yet i know you just want to click out and go play but hold up because there is some problems with this mod pack as you can see the installation has finished go ahead and click play that is going to bring you to the minecraft launcher where you are most likely going to have to log in go ahead and log in and once you log in you're gonna see this screen right here just like your regular minecraft launcher except except the only game mode that you have besides regular minecraft is a sky factory 4 now in here i do recommend that you go to installations click on these three little dots right here click on edit click more options and if for some reason you don't see 4096 in this number go ahead and change that to 4096 if you have the ram available what this pretty much means is that it's gonna run the game in four gigabytes of ram if you don't know how many gigabytes of ram you have open your pc right use your file explorer come to your pc right click in here click properties and as you can see i have 32 gigabytes you might have 8 16 32 64 as long as you have a minimum of eight you can run the game with four gigabytes so for now we are good with 4096 go ahead and click save now you might be asking hey can i click play already i already want to play the mod pack you could go ahead and try and play the mod pack but you might get an error while trying to load up the mod pack and that is because you're not running the proper version of java for this mod pack here's the thing java got recently updated to the 17 and the 18 version which is the newest one and it is required for the newest minecraft versions to run on but sky factory 4 was made for older versions of java and you need those older versions for this mod pack to play and you need those older versions to make a server for this mod pack if you don't have those this won't work so how do we downgrade java to the right versions for this to work for that you're going to click the second link in the description which will bring you to this website it's the older version of java as you can see it's java version 8 and we're going to find windows and download the offline 64 bit very important that you select the 64 because if you don't download that one it's not going to allow you to put more than two gigabytes on the game and you need more than two gigabytes to run sky factory and many other mod packs so go ahead and click on that link right here and that's going to start the download immediately it's a really fast process once it has fully downloaded go ahead and click on it it's going to prompt you with a little sign go ahead and click yes this is kind of what the installer should look like for you it might be different for me because i already have java 8 installed just go ahead and click install that's what you should see and then the process to install java is pretty simple we could even go ahead and close the website on the background just let it install and just wait for it to finish i mean it kind of sucks that you have to be changing between java versions for uh this to work but it is what it is it's not our fault hopefully in the future java 18 is compatible with all the older java versions but as for now it isn't go ahead and close this and now wait you're not ready to launch it yet we have to make sure that we get rid of the older versions of java so what you're going to do is type on the search bar type add or remove programs and you should right away see this right here go ahead and click on that now in here we're going to find java go ahead and type java and this is the only thing you should see java 8 update 333 if you see something else like java 18 development kit or anything like that go ahead and uninstall them 
okay? And once everything else has been deleted and only this remains, you could finally launch Sky Factory 4. As soon as you click play, it's going to give you this little sign right here. Just go ahead and click that you understand all the risk and let it load up. As we can see, it's loading. Just give it some time to load. Sky Factory 4, it's a mod pack that requires a lot of mods. So we gotta give it some time. Do not click anything. Even if it says not responding, it might freeze for a while. Just let it keep loading. A lot of people tell me that sometimes it says not responding and that they close it because they get afraid. Just let it load. Sometimes it says not responding, but it eventually loads. I mean, it depends on your computer, how beefy it is. Just give it some time. And after like a whole minute, guys, it took like a whole minute or maybe even more. It has finally loaded. As we can see, we have single player, multiplayer. Right now, we're going to click on single player to make sure that it works. Right here, you can name your world and do all the settings. I'm just going to leave it as it is so you guys could see that it completely works. And as you can see, I have loaded in. Look at this. This is me. Okay, look at that. That's my skin. As you can see, this is it. We're in a Sky Factory 4, guys. And that is it for this tutorial, guys. I hope that I was able to help you out. And if you had any issues, I hope that I was able to fix them. If I wasn't able to fix them, let me know down in the comments. If you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to follow me on the purple YouTube. You should see the name right here. So you could go and see me play live. I'll be playing a Sky Factory, Our Craft, Pick Someone, many other mod packs and regular vanilla Minecraft and many other games too. The link for that is also in the description. And as always, bye bye.